Well, hello there, my friends. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tortuga, a pirate's tale. Uh, I can't wait to jump in, and look, I don't want to just BS you guys. I really honestly think this is basically sort of a remake of the original Sid Meier's Pirates, but Sid Meier's Pirates is a fantastic, fantastic game, so if they can even come close to that level of glory... I'm going to give it a chance. So let's jump into Tortuga, A Pirate's Tale. Uh, we're just going to do a good old-fashioned new game. One thing I already enjoy quite a lot is we can go ahead and name our starting captain, of course. Uh, I am going to name him, of course, Agrippa Maxentius. Now, I want to change the portrait. We can also go ahead and mess with this. I'm hoping that it'll keep the name. I like that look quite a bit. Sort of the uh, the old gentleman. Although, you know what? We'll go with this one. I think it's a little more Agrippa Maxinus. You can even change the old um, black flag to something different. Um, and actually, I'd like to go with the flag that um, Blackbeard used to use, which is this one right here. Um, and I believe if we get a pirate hat on him and some red in the background, that would be a Blackbeard flag. So let me see if I can just touch it up a bit here. Something like this with red. Okay, that's nice. I like that too, but I would have to really mess with all of these, and I'm not going to do that. So let's uh, do this. And again, we'll just take Blackbeard's flag. So that's going to be this, the old-fashioned pirate look, really. Uh, damn it! Sorry, i got to stop clicking that. I just want the, the one bar. So let's do this, there, and then red. Yeah! Beautiful. So that's going to be our pirate flag. Um, our starting town, now just like pirates, you can select any of these starting towns. We happen to be starting in Belize, uh, but there are so many different towns. Of course, some under control of the Dutch, some under control of the French, the Spanish, etc., and the English, of course. So let's get started. Um, I'm keeping le legal, eh, level of difficulty at regular, and I am continuing into the wide open seas. The promise of liberty and riches readily advanced years ago from the Caribbean to the stifling port taverns of the Old World. There it found its way to your ears as well. Hey, you doing, guys? Good to see For you. you. Good to see you. The passage, a crew, and a small ship were quickly, let's say, rounded up. But now what? Now, where liberty, fame, and above all, the riches have yet to come. Your crew's already honing the knives. And if all the next raid brings is merely a few crumbs for each of them again, they'll simply boot you out. Or worse! A truly big catch. The Spanish treasure fleet on its way to Europe. Packed so full with riches that it nearly sinks into Neptune's arms all by itself. Now that would help you, indeed. But alone on your puny cockle shell, you'd have to be completely out of your mind to head into battle against the best protected ship convoy in history. You need a better ship to do that, a larger crew, and above all, a gang of insane pirate captains flying your flag who know precisely what they're doing. So, Captain, the sails are set. Where's the voyage headed for? Yar! Oh, okay! Skipper, you truly pulled out all the stops last night. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought a human... Hold on, guys. I think I need to change um, the keyword. <laughs> hey, Jelly Candle, how you doing, bit Priory? Oh, you might be right. All right, I might be thinking of someone else. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's got that standing skeleton thing. Uh, not a... Not a, um, a typical skull and crossbones. Pretty sure the standing skeleton. Maybe I'm thinking of a different pirate. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Tortuga. A pirate's tale. They might not have a page. So, you know, we'll just go ahead and do this to uh, Calypso. Here we go. Uh, not sure. I'm, I didn't. I, I didn't know that I was supposed to have that much. It was quite a feast yesterday. You look like you're not quite yourself yet. What's going on? Who are you? I'm a dangerous pirate. Fear me. Not only the memory is gone, but also the mind. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm just gonna show you the basics. Practice standing straight again. <laughs> the main thing is you can still. So I want ship. your guys' opinion on this. I can't tell 
if I like this look or not. Because what Excellent. it reminds me of, it's Let's kind of like shady. It reminds me of like um, Scourge of War Waterloo. And that's town. kind of we'll a good thing, but kind of maybe a little too old fashioned. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, like, what do you guys think? I mean, it is pretty, but at the same time, it's kind of ugly too. I, it's almost like, it's almost like a somebody attempts to draw a photograph. That's the best way I could describe it. And uh, I think it's either going to work really well or really poorly. Alright, so what we're going to do, guys, we are going to go ahead and raise the black flag. And at this point, we can go ahead and engage. Here we go. Now, hopefully this far away from Belize City, we won't be noticed. We need the wind in our favor. There we go. Sail ahoy, Captain. Easy pickings for us, but if you ask me, the convoy sits very nicely in the water. Nothing phenomenal, but probably a decent haul. So we are going to start a battle and try and take them out. It's not great, not terrible. There you, there you go. Uh, well, the thing is, I get these games. Every single one of the games that I play on my channel, I get for free. I'm, I'm considered media, so I get these for free. I don't, I don't get paid much for having this channel. Let's put it that way. If you're under the impression ah, yes. I'm getting thousands a month, bat. I'm I'm not even we'll getting up to 500 a month. Let's put it that way. There. Not even up to 300 a month from this. Already. So no, I, I do this because I enjoy doing this. Um, it's probably see. the reason I haven't uploaded much when you're is done, it gets harder and harder and harder to make money to on YouTube. Friends. So no, I don't make a lot at all. Uh, thankfully, I do get you know a lot of games for free. So that's awesome. All right, let's see. So one thing I love here, we're going to actually have a turn-based sort of strategy uh, phase here. Us? I kind of like well this. Done. I'm not sure how In I feel about the visuals, round, but... We ought to get within firing range. We're going to have to then wait to get within firing so range. So I'm just going to move up a little side. bit here. Let them move forward. And they are going to get within firing range of us. And we're just going to fire standard broadsides. Now, you can, of course, choose between grape shot, all that stuff. Um, we're not going to do that. So, actually, I think we actually need to move forward. We're forced to move a bit. And at this point, again, we could go grape shot. Um, we could go for chain shot, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm just going to select a standard iron ball broadside. Fire! Direct hit. Right through the back of the ship. For long. Don't let up, skipper. We'll send the landlubbers to Davy Jones. All right, let's end that turn. They really want a piece of us, man. They're coming back for more. Uh, it's it, trust me, it's it's not as good as you think it is. I've dedicated a good ten years of my life to this channel. Um, so it, as far as I'm concerned, um, I wouldn't recommend it on my worst enemy. Now if. There are bonuses, you know, there, there are pluses to it. All right, let's attempt a boarding. So here we yes. are. In the eye of the storm, face to face with our enemies. Saber in the hand, only a few feet away from our certain doom. Here you see the balance of power. The better it looks in our favor, the greater the likelihood that your daring plans will work too. So I think well, we're going to take on Captain Orbono with conventional planks. Let's do it. We did it. We barely managed to arrange the planks when your seamen charge aboard the other ship and begin to slaughter the crew there. All right. Fantastic. And it looks like the um, boarding process continues. Uh, let's go ahead and um, use just a pure old strength. And we are losing sailors, of course, doing this. But the boarding progress is continuing. And we're going to go... Continue fighting. Be nice if they would surrender now. And there we go. Fantastic. Now we can inspect the loot, or we can actually take over this ship. Um, but this is like sort of a cargo boat. Although I'm not sure, like we might be able to sell this. So I am going to capture it. Uh, I'm going to take over the ship. And let's also inspect the loot here. So my cargo is 142 39. I want to take everything I can. So we're going to take all the fruit. Oh, wait. Nope, nope. We've taken everything. We have got it. All right. Never mind. The first mate smiles at you. Well, Captain, that'll cheer up your bones. And it got us some loot. So how's the head? You talk too much. Sorry, Captain. I just thought this might be helpful. After all, you have big plans. Hmm. 
All right, well, off Captain, to town. Let's sail into town to fit ourselves out a bit. We're sure to find a few good seamen in the tavern. Better if we haul down the black flag again. We don't want the people in town to snitch on us right away. So we don't want the black flag raised. Um, I think it's lowered. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to sail into Belize City, though. Wait, we're headed for Tela. We don't want to go to Tela. Uh, let's head to Belize City. Setting course. Haven't noticed a day-night cycle yet, but it's... I don't think it's been long enough. Now, there is a zoom in or, or speed up, speed out. Yeah, raking fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I appreciate the levity. That'd be nice. Land ho! I All right. always wanted to say that. <laughs> Remember, Captain? Yesterday, there was rum aplenty here. If we need supplies, we can get them here. First off, I suggest we go to the tavern. My throat's all dried out. That smell. It brings back memories, don't it, Captain? You see that guy back there? He looks like he'd make a good captain. Just oh. what we need. Break the ice. So Maybe Irish Coffee is the name of this case. <laughs> it's the name of this captain. Uh, so let's buy a round. The tab room is filled with finest riffraff that Belize City has to offer. If only enough rum flows, one or another of them will surely let themselves be fascinated by a life under the black flag. The tavern give keeper gives you a questioning look. What'll it be, Captain? Uh, let's pay for the best. Only the best of rum and keep it flowing. I don't want to see a soul able to stand up straight anymore. There we go. They'll be talking about this party for years to come. Everyone drinks as much as they can hold while tales of your crew's most adventurous raids are told as imaginatively as possible. 32 seamen join your crew. We're not going to need any more of those, although I don't want to divide the loot yet either. Uh, in the tavern, you'll always find a few join or capable men and women to accompany you on adventures. Sure, let's talk to Irish Coffee. In the furthest corner of the tavern, there's a person lying on a table. Empty beer mugs, playing cards, and leftover food bear witness to a long night. Upon closer inspection, it turns out that the stranger is not sleeping, but mumbling something to himself, barely conscious. Uh, let's buy him a beer. With bloodshot eyes, he spots the beer and takes a few hearty swigs. A minute later, he seems like a new man. Forgive me, Captain Sam Seamus Walsh. Well, at least that's what the theory is. Unfortunately, I lost my ship a week ago in a dare around the Turks Islands, and I love how the name updates there. Fantastic. Welcome aboard. He is going to be our new captain uh, for the trick. other ship, of course. Let's test his skill right away. We'll grab us another trade convoy. All right. Well, he wants us to head right out of town. Fair enough. Um, I'd like to visit the governor, but we can always do that later. So we will cast off. Now, we do still have our black flag. This Spanish ship could come for us. Okay, intercept easy prey. Let's grab him. Well, he is running fast. All right, that's, I think, what we need to grab. I uh, see. Wind. Uh, I was supposed to talk about wind. Hold on. I, I know I jotted it down somewhere. Uh, there we go. We are hoisting the black the wind, flag. You are much, much faster. Okay. Guess Here we go, folks. Can figure that one out. Two With pirate ships skipper, now. We can lead not one, but two ships into battle. That ought to be easy pickings. We're going to do the same as we did in the last battle. We're going to try to board her. So each ship has their own turn. I guess that's fair. <laughs> Bad stacks. All right, here we go. Um, I don't want to go into this area. It's windy. Well, wait a minute. That might push us forward a little bit more. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. We have to keep in mind this right here is our main ship. I think it's the one that we really want to get into combat. Oh, 
Ooh, you bastard. Let's open fire. Didn't really do much damage, did it? Next, uh, next turn, we're going to push over here. What is that? Oh, that might have allowed us to board the ship. That's okay. We're going to take a shot at her. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. I like this whole turn-based thing. Um, But I would say, like, that's, from what I can tell, kind of the... The only original element of it? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We're not going to be too harsh. Wow. What I'd like to do is just get up alongside him and start boarding. So let's go for it. There is a collision risk, so we don't need to do that. We just need to get up alongside the ship. That's all. Still not ready to be boarded. Um, so let's get some grape shot in there. So that instantly got rid of seven crew. Of course, that is helpful. I don't know how many men we have on this ship either. Try to just cut in front of them here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to target the crew. Boom. Grape shot. Oh, he's resistant. Okay, I think it's because it was a frontal shot. We're going to have to take another shot here. Um... Grape shot, I'm not sure if it can reach that distance. We'll find out. Oh, he sure is resistant on the front there. Fair enough, fair enough. Thought our stronger ship would be able to handle it. You can see we're going to have to get that ship worked on because he is taking quite a bit of damage. Um... As you can see, he's got a little bit of damage to the sails there. It's nothing, like, super serious, but it's enough to require repairs. Oh, baby. I think we're just going to sink this bastard at this point. Fire! gonna keep them together for now let him kind of do the movement and now we can get around probably sink her with one shot here from our main ship fire and that's gonna be a naval battle one i would like to see the sinking um we'll see if there's actually an animation for it but for me in a naval game you gotta be able to see that sinking ship howling hurricanes are we good ha <laughs> ha if it keeps beautiful going guys like this, a bunch of we'll tobacco on the ship We've taken all of that, and as you can see, my cargo 166. We have a lot more room for cargo, but it's all on board. Beautiful. Let's get down to business. The cutthroats on our crew won't take it on the chin forever. At some point, they'll want to see a few gold coins too, which means we'll have to divide the booty soon. See, I now quite like that. We so we actually have to keep the crew happy by dividing it. Um, nah, I'm Back good. Into town and we'll clear it up over a I mean, mighty anybody that becomes tavern. a member to the channel or, or helps the channel out can request games. That's fine. But you gotta like what you're doing, you know? Like, I really only play games that I want to play. Uh, I used to play games, for instance, for a small cash payment from companies. I, I don't do that anymore. Because it's just not worth it. It's it's boring. I'm trying to read your comments over here on the phone. Alright, I think we're good now. 
I don't know why that works on my um i or, or works on my samsung but doesn't work on my iphone uh the chat really strange all right anyway let's go to belize city i want to meet that governor the more missions you complete the for the governor the higher your standing here. rises in the nation's you esteem keep on the right side of a nation then those are the boots you'll have to lick mm. here's also where you always find out what your current standing with the nation is and we can see currently Spain is not at war with anybody. Um, so I don't think they have any real missions for us. But of course, the more we do for Spain in general, the more this governor will like us. Uh, let's take a look at the missions here. So we've, we've completed all of these. All right. And maybe let's take a look. Go back to the tavern, maybe. I think I want to go to the market. We, we also want to go to the shipyard to uh, fix the some of the ships. Also the easiest possibility to obtain provisions. I've never understood why any convoy wouldn't have a load of rum aboard. So we're going to sell some of the hemp. It would make so many things simpler. Um, let's take a look at what else we have in large quantity. We got a lot of sugar. But, of course, you also want to make sure that you're selling it. Sorry, they have a lot of sugar. You also want to make sure you're selling it at a high price. Like, we could be selling it at a super low price over here. The grain feeds our men, so I don't want to get rid of too much of that. Let's get rid of a little of the grain. Seems like we shouldn't even be doing this, but what the hell. I want to see how the trading works, so confirm. All right, 14 Gs, man. Yeah, we absolutely have to go to the mar to the tavern and split this. Aye, Captain, we've already accomplished a lot, and now as tradition demands, it's time to split the booty and prepare to vote for a new captain. Oh, shit. I hope they don't vote me out. In your one days at sea, and you and your crew managed to raid two convoys, capture one ships, plunder 50 barrel of wares, and obtain 14,000 gold. I like that. I like, like, a daily report. It's sort of like in a war game when you get a report of casualties. That That's awesome. So, let's do it. You're the captain, so you can also specify how much oh, of the Oh, this is like a proper share. distribution. The receives, the it's not automatic course, like in Pirates. But a bit of advice from me. Don't give them too much. They'll get used to it. And next time, they'll expect just as much. So thankfully, uh, Captain Seamus likes us quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, divide that crew. And this is going to, if you look in the bottom, it's going to tell us how much they like this, um, how much they appreciate it. And you can actually see the, the coins accumulating on the table. I think that's just such an awesome touch. I think it's a bit too much. Let's go to like 70% favorability. Because this way we're dividing essentially half. We're also not giving away any of the ships. I think that's good enough. With time, you and the captain there we go. If, did you guys see that? If you have an approval of 50% or lower, you can get voted off. You so that's crazy. And invest the experience you in oh, wow, skills. guys. So we get some, uh, some skills here. Hmm. Combines ramming and boarding. I like this. Like, I want to be a super aggressive captain. But I also like the Caribbean Drift here, which lets you turn really fast. This is really helpful. Um, so is the Armor Piercer in case we face any large armored ships. And these are not the only abilities. We can go down here. Look at this. You even have Maniac. Swaps whole points for more damage. Terrifying Presence. Nearby enemies lose morale. I want to go down the Terror Route. So let's go for Terrifying Presence. And we can actually boost it up. So how awesome is that? can actually make it scarier. So we're going to be even more terrifying. When one of your captains has accumulated enough experience or abilities, you can invest in their abilities. Makes sense. Um, so he's just a pleasure seeker, more or less. Makes sense. Let's get out of here. So, Captain, you probably thought you were done with divvying up the gold in Oh, no. Now. Sadly, no. We still have to draw up articles of capture for our next cruise. Oh, we boy. We just love our articles and codes. How cool it's is that? It's quite simple, too. You make a couple of wild promises to the crew, and the boys elect you captain again. But watch out. If you don't keep your pledges, they'll hold it against you. Hmm. So this is probably going to be, like, specific pledges to capture ships. Okay, all right, all right. Let's do it. Hmm. Oh, I see. All right. So we are going to agree to divide loot, of course. We always do that. That right there should be sufficient. Look at that. 
We don't even need to add anything else. Um, so I'm just going to confirm. Good job, Captain. This way we stay right on course. Every approval above the threshold will motivate our crew even more. With increased morale, they got to fix that, our, mo our rating expedition will be even more effective. All right, let's go. Perfect. Well, then put your signature here, here, and here. Uh, do you want to keep a copy for your files? Good. Oh, you know Things what I didn't can move do. move on now. Harbor Master. Well, if you're truly serious about the Spanish treasure fleet, then we ought to visit an old acquaintance of mine. Back then, he was mate on a Look at this, we can actually even change the color. I, I think that's Europe. so cool. He's an old geezer now, but he might have a few bits of useful information for us. Let's that back is, up. Of course, you can get that close if you want. You can get, like, right up on the ship. Look around. It's likely we'll have to head here often. Everything to do with the ship can be found at the Harbor Master. He repairs the ships, sells upgrades, and sometimes... Oh, look. So we have to go too. all the way to Port Royal, guys. We're going to be crossing pretty open ocean to get there. That's pretty cool. So this is like, at least in, in this particular area, uh, Central America, the Caribbean, all this area here, I think it's going to be... This is going to be the widest channel of water we have to cross all the way across. Now, we could, of course, stick to the coast and just kind of pop over at some point, but I kind of want to see what's out here, especially with all these little islands. Like, I'm curious if these hold anything or if they're just there for show. I also see some ships out on the horizon. Let's take a look. Now, what I noticed is that other ship is no longer following us, but wait a minute. It wasn't following us before, was it? Oh, my goodness. Is that a, is that a whale shark? Hold on. Hold on wind is not with us. We're dead in the water. Oh, that's just a, I think it's just a massive great white. Look at that thing. All right, yeah, let's head out of there. No, that's a great white for sure. Now, I was asking about like how it looks below. How look how beautiful that is. We can actually see the coral beneath us. We can see the depth of the ocean beneath us. I think that's an awesome touch. You know, we've really been attacking the Spanish a lot. I think I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, we definitely don't want to stick with the Spanish. And that's a big old ship. He's going real fast. Yeah, we're not going to catch up with him. I think he knows what we're up to as well. Doesn't really allow you to beach yourself either, which is good. Um, sort of protects you from any beaching. What is that? What is that, guys? Okay, it's a school of fish. It's a school of fish. I thought it was a sea serpent. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try, gotta try to get in front of this guy. I think we just have to stick to this route. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, hoisting the black flag. So we could get moving, give them the fright of their lives, and give. And then they, there's a 51% chance that they'll just give up all their loot right away. Um, I'm tempted to try it. The men try their best to scare the wits out of them over there and induce them to give up. Gleaming steel and fierce grimaces all upon the upper deck. Seaman recruit Fletcher has thrown both wooden eyes. And Slippery Lewis is buck naked again, too. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to have made any lasting impression. All right, let's start Wait, the battle. There's work to do. Let's see what we get over here. I love the uh, that thing with like having um, multiple captains and then having a vote at the end. I think that's Full so cool. Ahead. Like they've really gone pretty deep into the pirate lore of um, or the pirate politics. I guess it's just so so cool. Here we go. Oh boy, gonna be a fast little bastard. And actually, we might be able to just board immediately. Maybe not. So this is a grog shot. I've never tried this. Oh, challenge enemies to attack. All right, let's do. Let's try it. I don't think we've ever tried it. Wait. Oh, so maybe we just simply execute. I see. All right. Interesting. So we're just calling out for them to attack us. That's all. Full speed ahead. Here we go. I don't want to have a ram, so I'm going to just get over here and fire. Pretty heavy damage right there. They're still quite strong, though.
that did a tremendous amount of damage to him. Look at that, guys. Tore the sails, ripped through the boat. Um, the damage is, is significant at this point. So yeah, all ships have armor that you have to get through first before you can damage the hull and score critical hits. So those are the critical hits. That's why it seemed like it had taken no damage initially. Could have gone straight for boarding, but I don't even really want to keep this thing. So this side, as you can see, is still armored. It's still defending against most of the damage. The other side has been fully raped. We have to see what we're shooting at. Here we go. Let's board. And we can board with this guy too. If the first one doesn't work. Board. Execute. Boarding maneuver failed. Okay, it doesn't always work. In that case, we're going to have to keep on firing. Make sure she's down. I don't want her damaging our ships. And there she goes. Think about it. They could have survived there. Now, they're either going to sink off the coast here, or they're going to have to swim to that little island. Hopefully survive. We blew those land lovers out of their Beautiful. boots. Took all their bread. They had plenty of bread on the ship. Why we can't take all of it, but okay. You also have a representation of how much of your cargo hold is being stored over here, like a visual representation. I would have they just have done a lot of good things in this game that I'm quite happy with. Booty. All right, let's look for a few more ships. Um, we are continuing towards Port Royale, but as you can see, Port Royale is across the ocean there. Uh, modern day, um, let's see. No, this is Cuba over here. We've got the DR and Haiti over here. Who wants to guess what that is right there? Again, the schools of fish are creeping me out so much. And this must be uh, really a representation of how people could think of sea monsters. You see schools of fish like that under your boat? It looks like a massive serpent. Is it Dominica? I think it's Dominica, if I'm not mistaken. Not Dominican Republic, Dominica. Yep, still a lot of open ocean across. And like you, like over here, as you can see, we are no longer seeing the bottom. Or if we are, you're just seeing these almost cosmic um, mountain ranges beneath us that we couldn't possibly look at, of course. Oh, some English ships. We want to be cool with the English. I'm not even messing around with them. I'm just going to continue onwards. And for those of you wondering, I know some of you are wondering um, about, you know, getting up close and personal. You can really get up there, as you can see. Ah, oh, the French. Look how beautiful that is. Again, I'm still not, I'm still not certain if I like this art style or dislike it. Um, for those of you just joining, it, it reminds me of, like, somebody attempting to paint a picture. I can't explain it, and I'm, it's kind of growing on me. Like, I do like the depth of the water here. That's beautiful. Uh, but the look of the ships is a little, like, it's just a little weird. I don't know I don't know what else to say. It maybe just needs to be tuned up a little bit, a little crispier maybe, and it would be perfect. We're close, lads. We're close. We've also got an indicator here of mood, so it's lively, but could be heading towards unhappy if we don't start taking more ships and dividing the loot again pretty soon. Uh, oh, look at that coral. Look at that coral, man. How beautiful is that? It's also really well represented, like being right off the coast here. It's kind of the way it should be. There's one of those sharks, of course. One of the great whites there. Okay, not good. If I'm seen here, there might be trouble. Evidently, the Dutch are not very happy with me. Santo Domingo and Principe. Yes, I think it's Santo Domingo and Principe, if I'm not mis uh, mistaken. Or is it uh, Santo Domingo? Some geogra Someone that, that's good with geography has got to tell us here. I'm going to head into Port Real, though. I'm hoping that Dutch ship doesn't spot us. They did say might be trouble. 
It's a relative term. A gorgeous little town. Beautiful. It would be a shame if someone were to raid this here. Ha! I haven't been in this dump for a long time. If I'm not mistaken, we'll find my acquaintance in the tavern or close nearby. Now you already know the ins and outs of the tavern. <laughs> Besides our regular drinking binges, you can also buy around here in order to hire new seamen. In addition, You'll often find people with deep pockets here who have one or another job for us. I like that. So we can, of course, do some missions. Um, this territory is controlled by pirates. Man, is reeling. He staggers towards the counter and calls out the crowd. Pirates! They're everywhere! Pirates! Watch out for pirates! Haha, so they've heard of us. I think he's talking about the local pirates. They must have a hiding place around there somewhere. I've got it. We'll grab one of the scoundrels and squeeze the hideout location out of him, and then we claim it for ourselves. What do you say, Captain? I've never tried this. This might involve a land battle, uh, but we do have a new task, uh, and it's likely taking over the local pirate hideout. Uh, burning Tide. So this is another captain, potentially. We could also have a conversation with our existing family, Seamus Walsh. Captain, I've, I've got a request. A friend of mine is an English per is in an English prison. Let's free him. He'd do the same for me. And how can we possibly do that? Don't worry about that. The only high-ranking English captains know of these prisons. We'll just need to squeeze that information out of one of them. That's pretty awesome. So breaking folks out of jail, and that could, of course, become our next captain. Although I'm not exactly keen on the fact that he's buddies with Seamus, because Seamus, you know, it's okay if there's just one other captain, but now if there are two captains and they're friends, you know, they might be able to help each other um, get promoted. So I don't know how I feel about it, but all right. Let's talk with the informant. You can't even enjoy your breakfast rum in peace these days. What are you and what do you want? I'm Agriva Maxenes, captain of the flagship, and I was told you might have some information of the Spanish treasure fleet. Get lost. Hold on. Why the haste? There might be something in it for you. My first mate told me you sailed with the Spanish treasure fleet. Maybe, maybe not. I don't like your nose, and why should I trust you? Never heard of you. You might as well be a lackey of the Spanish crown. Well, so, I think we need to gain more of a name for ourselves. So well. But he's right. Not a soul knows us. We should introduce ourselves to the local merchant captains. That'll please the crew, too. Not only more gold, but a favor in the pocket to boot. Just how Ooh, I like nice. it. Nice. What are people saying? Okay, it is said that in Puerto Cabezas, there's a great demand for spices. You could surely make a good deal there. So that's already an indicator to either steal or purchase spices. Uh, to sell later in Puerto Cabezas. I like that. You approach a table where Reed is sipping rum in her crew. She sees you, her expression darkens. And who do you want to be? Looks like some kicked dogs. Have you accomplished anything to be known for? I don't know. Looted ten French convoys? No? Then off with you. Go and don't you dare come back until you spank some wigs. It's not the last time you've heard from me. Discretion is required. Pick up Yoan Baker in Baracoa and drive safely to Isabella. It's important that no one knows about this. You will get your gold when Yoan Baker arrives safely in Isabella. I'm not going to take the mission. Again, we're more in the business of attacking ships. We're not too concerned with doing those missions for now. Uh, but it might be one of the few ways we can actually get our respect level up. Um, so that is something to consider. It also looks like we can purchase some new cannons. Uh, either a mortar or some swivel guns. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and for 1400 I'm really tempted to get it. Uh, but I think we can only get the swivel guns, not the light mortar. And I'm not sure I really want to buy the light mortar. Now, what about this? Oh, my goodness. A 24-pounder. Yeah, let's do Good it. Work. Now we can hunt even bigger fish. Pimp my Clyde. <laughs> All right, pretty nice. So let's head back. And we'll just simply go ahead and leave the area. We're looking for additional ships. I hate to say it, but we might need to go back to Spanish territory and get nice with them. Board a pirate ship from Santo Domingo. All right, let's go. Oh, there's one close by. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, that's an English ship, not a pirate ship. All right, so we're just going to go out into the open water. It's just giving us a, a general area to find them. Mm -mm. 
around Cornelius and has a lot more men. Let's continue. Oh, shit. Looks like they want to fight no matter what. Uh, okay. We're gonna have to try, guys. This is gonna probably not go very well, but we're gonna try our best um, against this Dutch, massive Dutch fleet. I'm sure there are much bigger fleets, but to us, it's, it's quite large. Men, sing so the whole world can hear us. Will work. I guess we could have gone for an escape, but that wouldn't be very piratey. We're gonna have to go in um, and go for broke. Really gonna focus on their strongest ship, which is gonna be this one. And just try and fire as many rounds into it as possible, sinking it, um, and then won't have as much to deal with, of course. Alright, so we're gonna get in front of it first. Fire. Full speed ahead! Oh, here. And they still have that iron plating. It's a strong ship. You can see the iron plating, which is represented by the yellow, sort of starting to wear out. I reckon ours is going to wear out a lot faster, especially if they're getting these rear shots like this. Look at that. Tearing through. That was my favorite ship. Oh, my I'll goodness. That, tub that was fast fast sinking um so what we're gonna do is try to escape i'm pretty sure we can i mean at least in games like pirates you can escape uh however i believe we lost one of our captains uh and this is all about can we actually escape we'll have to wait and see we'll show them how it's done Here we right go. maybe not Maybe not. Maybe this simply turns the ship. Is it too late to surrender the ship? <laughs> Is it too late? Oh, boy. Um, I'm loving it so far, though. Again, we try to keep these streams at about an hour long. Toad, Silver Zone. Oh, literally just joined, and it looks like Sid Meier's Pirates modern graphics and style. Yes, exactly. I'm a lackey of the Portuguese crown. That's right. Sadly, Portugal is not represented in this or Pirates. It should be. It should be. Although well, Portugal didn't have as, nearly as much a part to play in the Caribbean, so I kind of understand it. Um, I wonder if we can load an autosave here just to be extra cheap. Because we are not winning that fight. Uh, but it just goes to show you, and thankfully it autosaved pretty close to our previous uh, mission. <laughs> Uh, but just goes to show you how dangerous the pirate life can be. If, if we go across a convoy that's a problem, um, you know, we're going to have to be very, very careful um, and kind of watch our step unless we have sufficient boats and captains and manpower uh, to even raid them in the first place. So I kind of want to go after these English ships that are leaving. We don't care who our victims are, but we do need to try and ingratiate ourselves with at least one of the nations. So that is something to consider. I also want to make sure that, um, hold on a sec. Is it details? Hotkeys. How do we lower the flag? Hoist the pirate flag F7. So is hoist the same as lower? Let's find out. Hmm. It's, it doesn't seem to be working, but okay. I think for now we'll focus more on the naval battles. We can actually see the number there, 1,140 men. We do not want to tangle with those Dutch ships. Though I am going to just slip into Santo Domingo. We'll just do a quick head count. Um, I'll actually try to hire some sailors and we'll get the hell out of here. I'm just going to really rush it because I just want to talk to the informant. Boom. Oh, just little town. It would be a shame if someone were to raid this here. Ha! Shady offer, eh? I haven't been in this dump I've heard of you. You're not afraid of anything. Time. How about a little kidnapping? Mistaken, the governor of Trinidad we'll dared to cross a lot of important people. Tavern. These people would pay you many ducats to kidnap the governor's now child. And a bit more for not asking any questions. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do it. Guys, we need to go to Trinidad. Also buy around here in order to hire new seamen. 
In addition, you'll often find people with deep pockets here who have one or another job for us. Well, for once, that didn't go so well. Buy another but round. He's right. Not a soul knows us. We should introduce ourselves to the local merchant captains. That'll please the crew, too. All right. We're also accepting that other mission. Um, and let's get the heck out of here. I will go to the Harbor Master. Because we promised. purchased uh, an additional cannon. So let's get that 18-pounder. Good we work. Go. Now we can hunt even bigger fish. All right, let's get out of here. So let's go to Trinidad. Um, we got to go to Puerto Prince first for the informant. But we could do the Trinidad focus. Um, or sorry, to do the transport mission. Um, and it looks like that Dutch ship is fucking tailing us, man. Not cool. Not cool at all. Um, let's just try to get away as quickly as possible. Let's see how many... Yeah, he would absolutely kick our ass. Just hope that we're getting away here. Don't like him behind us like that. All right, I think he's going his own way. I really hope he is. We're headed to uh, Haiti here. Volta au France. Okay, so there's actually just an indicator here to hoist the flag. Let's lower the flag. Nice. Good to see that it's not always hoisted. But as soon as we decide to attack someone, we do need to hoist that black flag. Like, for instance, this... We're going to take a look and see how many they have, the English. I'm kind of tempted to side with the French here. We can absolutely take over here. Sorry, Englishman. Oh, yes! Good pickings. So we could try to intimidate Elizabeth Murphy. 63% um, chance to intimidate. This would allow her to leave with her life um, and allow us to take any loot on board. Doesn't work. So let's start the battle. And we can actually try to intimidate a second time, but for a lower um, chance of an intimidation. Uh, I don't mind, though. We are going to go after this ship. Right now, we will go after anybody, as long as it means making some cash for the crew. All right, Seamus. Prove yourself as a captain. We're going to let Seamus do this boarding. Or this this sinking, depending on what the uh, opponent wants to do here. I'm a little concerned with the wind so close to these rocks, so I'm just going to go kind of this way, away from the rocks. I don't want to go through them. It might look cool, uh, but it's not safe. Right, she seems pretty brave. She's going straight for the attack here. Count, we can't countenance that. Fire! As you can see, we're just working on that armor plating. It looks like we might still be able to use this? That's hilarious. Um, because we use some action points, but we still have the ability to challenge the enemy to attack us here. Uh, we'll get close. So we're working on both sides. And, of course, so we're using that heavy cannon, the 18-pounder, I believe. Missed completely, okay? <laughs> Maybe the cannons are too large for the ship. Not a good initial representation, am I right? I don't think so. And see, this means he would be sailing right into the rocks. We can't do that, right? So we're going to have to go over here. Fire. It's a nice bit of damage. See that armor plating sort of started starting to a flake off there. We'll show them how it's done right. Fire. Again, the hit probability there was really low. So I'm wondering if those large cannons, you know, they might be extremely powerful, but maybe they're just not very good. 
All right, we're going to let Seamus do the boarding. Boarding maneuver failed by Seamus. Let's try to do the boarding maneuver here. Boarding maneuver failed. Wow. All right, they've still got some fight left in them. I think those are taking critical damage pretty soon here. And see that hit probability only at 5%. That is so odd. Our new fancy cannons are useless. So we're going to have to probably sell them, get some maybe cheaper cannons. Like I said, maybe we need a proper galleon before we put on 24 pounders. You know, those are heavy, heavy cannons. Over here, our chance of a hit is 50%. And these are weaker cannons, so something to consider. Ooh. Starting to do a bit of damage. You know, chance of aborting is crap. Gonna continue trying to rake her with fire though. Not sure why it's ordering us to go for a boarding. Men, have all of you placed your bets? The fun can begin. Fire. The armor plating on that ship lasted a damn long time. And you can see um, our other captain is he's he's having a tough time about it. He is. That 5% chance of a hit. It actually did score a hit this time right through the ship. Um, it looks like he also had his sails a bit damaged, but he could easily sink our other captain here. Yeah, we are so close to a sinking. We're gonna have to shoot her down we'll fast. Show him how it's done right. There is a collision risk here. Now, these are our weaker cannons, so they should hit okay. It's still only a 15% chance to hit. Um, we did tag that armor, but, man, despite it being a really, really light ship, it is heavily armored. As such, it's no bother that we lost it's a the shame ship. we lost the captain. We lost the ship against those baller jacks. But we're not stopping. That hurts. And again, that was just a standard trade ship. I'm not too worried. What I am worried is about that 5% chance to hit. Fire! Just goes to show you, it's not always the larger ship that gets the victory. 48% failing that many times seems a bit unlucky. Right. Make sure that's going to be our other cannon, I'm pretty sure. Let's head over here. It's going to be our right-sided cannon. It's still only a 15% chance. It hit 5%. Yeah, I'm not understanding that. Could it be that just because the enemy ship is so low in the water, we can't get good hits on it? Yeah, no, we, we have the big guns. We paid for them, but they're not performing as well as, as the cannons. The All right, ours. we did get on the ship, thank God. We've got to be extremely violent here. Let's get the planks, get on board. Enemy is actually fighting back quite well. Look at that. We got to continue going forward. That's 70%. We did it. We've got to continue once again. The ship has the highest priority. Safeguard her first and advance further. Managed to establish a foothold, but look how many seamen we have left. Only 16, guys. Um, we've got to go. A target advance is supposed to knock the adversary off balance. We are absolutely going to have to find additional crewmen, that's for sure. We've got them down to 10. Only a few men left alive. Another but we did it. Just barely. They say they're an empire. Don't make me laugh. What a catch. All right, look at that. 
grain, fruit, cloth, bread, wood, sugar, sauerkraut as well. No wonder they fought so viciously. And it is a sloop, and you know what? I wouldn't mind having a sloop in my navy. So I'm going to take over. Um, and there we go. We can actually take two sloops if we want, but I won't do that. And we'll simply confirm. More of those things sail around the Caribbean. We'll find the we also need one. to take on that pirate ship because it's part of one of our missions. But I think right now we need to get to a town quickly, guys. Uh, try and replenish our crew, fix our ships, all that fun stuff. That was a nasty battle. And actually, it looks like Seamus survived. So I guess we don't necessarily lose the ship captain. I really hope the British don't attack us here. We would be absolutely dead if they do. But you know what? Just to make sure. Let's do this. Please don't attack us. We don't have our black flag up. We're not looking for a fight. Let's be friendly. All right. Tavern time. A gorgeous little town. Would be a shame Place myself in your care. Okay, here. so now we're supposed to take her to yet another location. Um, we could also, and I really like this, have a conversation with one of our existing captains. Maybe see what he's thinking or see what he's interested in, um, etc. Good friend of mine is an English person. Let's free him. He, oh, this is the uh, prison situation. All right, so we are going to try to break a guy out of prison. I don't want to take any shady offers right now. What I want to do is get as many more crew as possible. So we're going to buy the best rum in town. Looking for booty, 42 seamen, join your crew. All hands on board. I'm also going to go to the harbor master here, repair all of my ships. And we can actually um, purchase or ask another captain to join us. Because we do need an additional captain. You sit down with a figure at the table who winces at first, then regains their composure. I have a job for someone like you. You'll be able to call plenty of Ducats your very own should you accept it and succeed. There's a rival competitor in Isabella. I want you to do whatever it takes so that he can't bother me anymore. The building tavern in Isabella. Take or destroy av everything. Nope. Not for now. That seems pretty rough. Uh, maybe it's something we can do later. Let's instead head out of the harbor. We're going to cast off and try and complete that next mission. And that is simply sailing to Isabella and dropping off uh, this person. You can also see there the crew is still quite happy. Um, we don't need to divide the loot just yet, but it's something we want to consider doing eventually. could go for another Captain, one right here. I don't like saying it, but the men and women on board really could do with getting their teeth into something again. I don't blame you. Would be nice to have a few more crewmates, though. And look at that red. Um, okay, I think it's just an indicator of English ownership. For a second, I was worried it meant that, uh, that I can't enter these towns. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. As long as the rum's tasty, no problem. A uh, group of merchants roam around the taverns. They're clearly looking for a capable captain. Now, uh, you look if you've had lots of experience at sea. Our escort has been bailed out on us. Any chance you're interested in escorting our ship to Baracoa in return for proper payment, of course? I'd like to. Um, so, you know, I'm going to accept, but I, I hope we can focus on our current mission. And unfortunately, we have max crew. To get more crew, we're going to have to get more ships. Um, so that's okay. Um, we'll simply cast off here. And I believe this is the fellow... Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. That guy looks like a pirate hunter. Or is that the... I think that's the merchant ship. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now let's just get to Isabella. I'll feel a lot safer once we're there. And that is the pirate ship we need to take on right there. We could try it, but I definitely want to get to Isabella first. It looks like he's having enough damage dealing with um, other folks here. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. As long as the road well earned reward. Beautiful. No problem. Nice amount of gold, Did too, guys. 16 grand for promised. that. Underhanded dealings. After consulting with the innkeeper, you follow the person into the back room. He sits down at a little table with small stacks of coins and a bunch of papers in front of him. So what can I do for you? Do you want something from me? Do you have any grog? 30 barrels are currently going for a good price. 
So we could try to get 30 barrels of grog to turn into the black market here. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. I love the amount of different missions. Like, it seems like you have a constant, steady stream of missions here. And that's absolutely awesome. Uh, the rum's gone because the men drink it. That's why. Uh, let's head out. We can't have anyone else join our crew right now. Um, however, we can sell some of our goods at the market. So, let's see here. Well, it looks like we need cargo. All right, well, in that case, we're going to buy some food, fruit. Oh, exactly what I was looking for. Can we so I guess they just eat us? everything on board. Interesting, much like pirates. If you don't um, buy enough, they will eat it. They will eat everything on board, including the sauerkraut. Honestly earned so there we go. Looks different. See the governor. They're still neutral with us. So despite the fact that we have attacked the British in the past, we haven't attacked them enough to cause serious problems. Um, governor is talking with a few captains. With his hands in his pockets of his loose coat, the governor turns towards you. A job that seems suitable for someone like you. Do what you do best. Attack a few convoys from France and bring me the proof. If you attack at least four convoys, I'll pay you a reward. All right. Don't really want to attack the French. In fact, we want to be friends with the French. So I am going to head out of here. No, thank you. I'll be sure to let the French know about uh, your dealings, however. Let's head towards our convoy at this point. Going to have to cross some territory here. And in fact, we could just cut right across. Come on, convoy. Hopefully we don't get attacked by pirates on the way. Although it would be nice to find that pirate we've been looking for. just hit some very bad seas there. Not bad seas. Sorry, the wind is not in our favor. When that happens, you've got to sort of comprom uh, improvise, I should say. There we go. Now, these are the pirates we're supposed to bully here. But there's 675 of the bastards. Don't have enough ships to take them on. A gorgeous little town. It would be a shame if someone were to raid this here. There we go. Okay, we got another reward. More gold, but a favor in the pocket to boot. Just how I like it. Gonna repair all ships. I was trying to see if we could purchase ships here, but it looks like we can only um, attack and take ships. Information procurement. Hold on. So maybe we could get in good with the Dutch. We've just received an interesting message. France has sent out Ike Heisenberger in port au -Prance. There is important information on the flagship that could decide everything. Board the Ike Heisenberger flagship and bring me that information. Seems like a really, really, really tough job. Um, what about... Let's, whatever. It's saying it's only one um, skull, which should mean it's fairly doable. So I think we'll try to help the Dutch out. They seem like decent allies. They've got a lot of power in the Caribbean. I'm going to try to uh, get in their good books. We also have not begun accumulating grog. We could, of course. We could have attacked that French sloop there. Why am I going farther away? Shame on me. See, that could be the difference between surviving or not on the rations we have going the wrong way. Losing a day, essentially, going the wrong way. Again, this is English territory. I don't have much love for the English. So if we can attack them, we certainly will try. 
Attacking the Dutch out here seems like an utter betrayal. We would absolutely be able to take them over, too. Get another ship uh, under our wing. Our mission is still to accumulate grog. You know what? I want to see the prison mission. Now, hold on. And to rescue the child. All right, let's follow this one. And I'm not even sure. So, interesting. To raid a place, we have to hoist the black flag and then sail into it. Um, I'm not sure if we have enough men to raid the place, but I really want to check out this raiding mechanic. Because uh, I know in Sid Meier's Pirates, you could, like, raid settlements, and, you know, you'd have, like, a little land battle. I love that. I absolutely love that. So I'm just curious. I will save beforehand, because we'll probably be uh, dashed across the rocks. Wait a minute. Where is Trinidad? I see it. Trinidad and Tobago. It's not gonna, that's not Trinidad and Tobago. But oh, I guess it is? Oh shit, you learn something new every day. See, am I crazy? Isn't this the Isle of Cuba? Right here? Right? Over here is Haiti and Dominican Republic. Um, this is Dominica. So, is there a Trinidad in Cuba? I, well, again, learn something new every day. Alright, let's go this way. Then we'll come up from the south. We do have to worry about our provisions, though. We've also got to keep our mind or our eye on the status of the uh, the actual uh, pirates here. Make sure they don't get too unhappy or else they can actually mutiny and take over the ship. Also, it takes a lot longer to get their happiness up for them to vote for you. Keep in mind, most pirate ships, especially in this game, um, are democratic, believe it or not. So they do vote on their captains. We better keep them happy. One way to get that boat is just to give them a lot of gold. Man, that ship looks so ripe for plunder, too. Can't do it. One thing I'm also not liking, I don't know if you guys have noticed, uh, there is no day-night cycle. Um, I think, like, one thing that's going to be very important in a game like this is going to be storm cycles and day-night cycles. That's a big deal, right? At least for me. Um, and I don't see it. So we've had days pass, but it's basically daylight all the time. Oh my goodness. What is that? Holy. Oh my goodness. I gotta try. I'm gonna get my ass kicked, but I've gotta try. That's like a proper pirate ship there. Alright, Keen Adams! Let's try, guys. Start a battle against Keen Adams. It looks like we've just got There's one ship, so we do. must have sold the other one. I don't see how that happened. We'll have to pay attention a little more next time. I agree, Grant. I have. I mean, I, you know, I think we've only been streaming for about an hour here, but um, I have not seen any weather. I agree. That's like, come on, for a game in the Caribbean, you've got to have weather systems. It's so important. It's one of the ways some pirates would even evade, um, you know. Um, Privateers, as they would go into a storm. So, I think uh, that's an issue. Yeah, for sure. No um, day night system, or yeah, no day night system and no weather system. And it looks like those right sided cannons are not working. Is that possible? No, we're going to have to use just the left side, I think. I think that's a losing fight. But again, I have, um, I'm liking it so far. Although I, I agree with Grant here that there are some glaring issues like the lack of weather, the lack of a day-night cycle. In my opinion, that needs to be improved. You need to fix that. Um, but, you know, what can I say? I mean, it is basically just Sid Meier's Pirates, although looks a lot better um, and has sort of an update. There, there are additional elements to it too. Like the booty system is really good. 
uh, where you actually have to divide booty amongst the men in a specific way. Um, you can even like offer them something besides uh, gold. You know, you can just you can just give them promises and make them happy that way. Um, and the same goes for captains. You have to work with other captains, and they can actually be voted um, in above you, which means an end to the game for you, or maybe it just means you become that new captain. Either way, I'm liking it. But yeah, like Grant said, it's 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 good, but that stuff takes takes a lot away from it. You know. Um, just the lack of weather, for instance. Like, I want to see some storms. I want to see some big waves. Uh, I want to see the ship take damage in a storm, possibly, or at least the ability to use the storms to sort of um, cloak your movements. I mean, keep in mind, even games like Port Royale 4, which are totally based on trade, they have storms. So this one has no excuse for that. I could almost forgive the, day, the lack of a day-night cycle for a storm. I do agree. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys want to see some more Pirates... Uh, or Tortuga A Pirate's Tale, make sure to like and actually leave a comment once the video is uploaded. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube makes it very hard for our channel to be seen, so unless we get those likes and those comments, um, it's unlikely we'll do any more with this, but I would love to play some more. I'm definitely going to play some more on my own, so um, there is that. Take care, guys. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, the game allows you to be any pirate you want to be. You don't have to be a vicious marauder like myself. Hell, you could even probably just be a trader if you want. Um, but it's totally up to you. Thanks again, guys. Take care.